A new research and development facility is aiming to help Singapore speed up sustainable food innovation. And besides R&D, it will support companies to prototype future food and help them bring it to market. As Nadira Zaidi finds out, one company plans to ramp up production and is using the lab to fine tune its recipe. At these laboratories, companies are cooking up food of the future, like Beamless Coffee, plant-based squid and satay. Their mission is to make sustainable food that's appealing and tasty for consumers. The new Nurasa Food Tech Innovation Centre can house 13 labs, seven of which are occupied by food companies and startups. It's here that firms are lab testing ideas and solutions on a small scale. This centre is focused around in terms of to complete the product design, the product technology development behind the product design, and also the consumer's uh, preference or reactions to this specific innovation and also this uh, finished product. And after this, we will uh, pass this, uh, those innovators or company can pass on to the uh, commercial uh, scale of a production. Kramer Sustainable Foods, which has its own factory, is using the facility to test new recipes. This helps the company cut its overhead by reducing the amount of test products. At our own facility, we run about 250 kilos per hour. So um, to reduce the cost and the raw material and be more sustainable, we choose to use with FTIC, uh, with Nurasa. And once we have achieved successful results at uh, FDIC, we will be scaling up that and our own manufacturing plant at Kramer Sustainable Foods into us. Kramer produces about 4.5 million pieces of lab-grown chicken breast a year. By 2026, it hopes to make over 8 million. When production is ramped up, the company can reduce the cost for consumers. Kramer says its lab-grown product could potentially cost the same as the real thing. At the launch of the new lab, Deputy Prime Minister Heng Swiket stressed the urgency to strengthen food resilience. He also encouraged collaboration among more companies. Public-private partnerships can help to accelerate innovation by kick-starting R&D in areas of emerging technology, facilitating talent exchange and minimising duplications in investments. Doing so will enable more viable pathways to translation, commercialisation and scaling for impact. Such R&D investments in food production is in line with Singapore's aim in producing 30% of its nutritional needs by 2030.